What's up y'all, Walla Moose here, and in today's video I'm going to walk you through how to do a remarketing campaign so hopefully you can get some repeat customers and increase sales. But before I begin, my name is Josh aka Walla Moose, and I post here on YouTube once a week with videos regarding digital business and lifestyle, so if you're interested in that, please subscribe, I would love to have you along for the ride. So a remarketing campaign is running ads to people who have interacted with your business in some shape or form. In the case for this video and your Etsy store, we're going to be targeting people who have already bought something from your store. So we're going to collect data from those purchases and run ads to those people with the ultimate goal being creating repeat buyers. Running a campaign like this is especially useful if you have seasonal products and you want people to buy throughout the year. So let's jump in here to Facebook and I'll walk you through how to set that up. Alrighty, so we're here in Facebook and I apologize for my background right here. We just got a new puppy and so I had to make like a plywood cubicle for myself. So just disregard that, but we can get started. So essentially what we're going to do to create a remarketing campaign is pull the emails from people who have purchased from your store, compile them into a spreadsheet, submit them to Facebook as an audience, and then you can run ads and select that audience to target those people specifically if they have a Facebook account, which odds are they probably do. Okay, so what you're going to need for this video, it's pretty easy to do, but you need to make sure you have all these things. You need to make sure you have a Facebook business account for your Etsy store, and as well as you have ad capabilities set up for that account. If you don't have ads set up, you can just go to business.facebook.com and set those up really easily. You're also going to need some kind of spreadsheet software. Um, I'm just going to use Google Sheets because it's free for the purpose of this video, but you can use um, Excel or Numbers, whatever you have. And then lastly, you're going to need an Etsy store, of course. Um, I would recommend having at least five sales in your store. So let's get started. The first thing we're going to do is go to your Facebook business portal, again, business.facebook.com, and go to your account for your um, Facebook page. So I've got mine here, Waypoint Printables. And what we're going to do is hit this little hamburger icon and go to Audiences, click on that. And the reason we're going here before we're pulling the emails is we need to make sure we have our foundation correctly set. And there's some guidelines that you can follow to make sure we do this properly. So we're going to go up here to create audience and then go custom audience. And then from here, we're going to do a customer list because we're going to pull the emails from the customers who have already purchased from you. So select customer list and go to next. And then right here, it will have all the guidelines for how we're going to set this up. So for this video, I'm just going to be pulling the emails from my customers, but if you want to go more in depth, we can click on see formatting guidelines and we can see how to set up your um, Excel or spreadsheet document. Okay, so in order for the data to work correctly, we need identifiers such as email, phone, mobile, and here's the column header tag for it. So to show you an example of what that looks like is in your spreadsheet, the first box up here above at the top of your column is going to be the tag or the, what was the term they used? The column header. So email, make sure it's lowercase. And as you can see back here, email, and that tells Facebook that everything underneath that um, column header is an email. If you have more data, so it, let's say you have a phone number, you would do the same thing and you just type in phone as the column header and then type in the phone number below. And then we don't get too much data from the Etsy customer uh, database, but you can potentially put the city they're from, the state, if you want to get super in depth with it. Um, but for this, for Etsy remarketing, I would really just recommend using the email. So, so now that we know how to set up our spreadsheet, we can actually pull the emails from your Etsy database to this spreadsheet. So what we're going to do, make sure you have two tabs open, one with your Etsy shop manager, and then one with your Google spreadsheet. So back within Etsy, if you go to orders and shipping, you're going to have two columns, new orders and completed orders. You can pull from either, but I'm just going to go to completed because it's people who I know have already successfully gone through the process and they're satisfied um, and it's over. So within each listing or within each order, we have the name and the product that they bought. And if you hit this arrow, it'll expand and you can see their email. I'm not going to pull up their email because I don't want to give away anyone's personal information on this video. But what you're going to do is hit this drop down and then highlight the email and then go back to the spreadsheet, have the first column as email. Oh my gosh, I can't type. And then every box underneath that column, just paste it. Let's just say it was test one at gmail.com. Whatever that email was, write it right here. And now here's where it can get kind of strenuous. So, so let's say you have thousands of orders. First of all, congratulations. I would love to be in your shoes. Um, but that's a lot of numbers and names to put in manually. You can't go back and forth and do that a thousand times. It would take all week. 
What you may want to do is go over to Google and search email extractor software for free, or if you want to pay for it, that's okay. I'm not going to do that in this video because I'm kind of weary about recommending online software to be downloaded because I would hate for anything to happen. But for y'all's case, if you have a ton of emails, what you can do is download one of these free email extractor softwares. There's a lot of free ones. Some of them are paid, um, but make sure you do your research to make sure it's reputable um, before extracting the emails. So within that software, whatever y'all choose, it will automatically export a CVX, CSV, excuse me, of those emails. So if you want to go this route, all you need to do is go back to Etsy and we're going to extract the HTML from this page. So um, I would recommend using Chrome. I don't know if it works in other browsers, but I do this in Chrome and it works fine for me. So right click your page anywhere on the page and hit inspect and we'll pull up the HTML. You're going to feel like you're hacking when you're doing this. It's kind of cool. Um, but essentially it's going to pull up all the HTML from this web page. So all we're going to do is copy that HTML text that you can later paste into your extractor. So if you'll notice as you're scrolling, if you hover over a section, it'll highlight in blue what you're looking at. So make sure you're on a row that is highlighting this area in blue, such as this one. Right click that line, go to copy, expand copy, and go to copy outer HTML. And just do that. And let me pull up notes to show you what that looks like. Um, it's pretty crazy. So essentially, once you copy it, it's just literally a whole bunch of HTML. And so save that because your emails are in there, which the extractor is going to extract. Extract. But for everyone else, if you just want to do it manually, just go ahead and populate your sheet with all of the emails under the email category. And then after you complete that, go to File, Download, and then make sure you're doing a CSV. So just do that and it would download, and now we can go back to Facebook. So going back to Facebook, where we left the page for this guidelines, um, at the bottom, just hit next, and then it's gonna ask you, does your list include a column for customer value? No, it does not, it just has emails. And then here's gonna ask you to upload the file. So upload a list, just upload wherever you saved your CSV file to, and you can name it. Uh, this is good if you have a lot of audiences. Let me just do test for YouTube, and then just go down here to next. And hopefully, fingers crossed, if you did this correctly, it will show you that it is mapped and there's no actions needed and it shows all the emails populated. If you have an issue, maybe troubleshoot, uh, maybe you capitalized email or re-export your CSV, um, but ideally you shouldn't have any problems. So once that's all done, go to import and create. And what it's doing is pulling all of the emails from that CSV into an audience. So now 100% complete. All we need to do is hit, is hit done, and we are good to go. All right, so now within audiences, you should see a new audience with the, whatever you named it, and that is essentially a compiled list of everyone who has bought from your Etsy store. Now, one thing to note, when you run an ad for this and you select this as your audience, it will only target those emails who have a Facebook account. So if you have an email in there and they don't have a Facebook account, obviously there's no one on Facebook for them to target. But odds are most everyone has a Facebook account, so whenever you use this audience for future ad campaigns, um, it's really effective for remarketing, especially since these are already warm buyers, since they already bought from you once, they'd be more likely to buy from you again, especially if it's um, like new seasonal products. But overall, it's just really effective. So I hope this video helped. I know it's kind of a lot, and I know it can get kind of confusing with transferring the emails over. If you have any questions, please let me know in the comments. But if you like this video, please leave a thumbs up and subscribe if you want to see more videos like this. But as for this one, I appreciate it. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.